Hey everybody, how's it going? Storm Griffin here, and welcome back to more Costume Quest. Last time, we figured out that our brother got kidnapped by monsters, thinking that he was a piece of candy, and now we're going to be trick-or-treating to these houses in order to get behind the gate that they threw him past. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that first episode, and saw how funny the dialogue is in this game. I think it's really fun to watch, so... You found me! I'm playing hide and seek with my friends. Wanna play? If you find all six of us, you get a prize. Yeah, so this is our first instance of quest as well. So, as you see here, we have a status where we can see all of our health and and stuff, the kind of costumes we wear, and the amount of experience we get, as well as the kind of candy bags we have. We have battle stamps of all different kinds. Battle stamps are something we'll get into a bit later, probably. In quest, yep, here it is. So, we have the main story quest, and we have the smaller quest. Albert Pine Suburbs, so we gotta go after Reynold, trick-or-treat at the houses, 2 of 20, find out more about that creepy witch who stole my costume, and find all six kids in Alburn Pines. Or Alburn Pines. Yep, so we're gonna just be doing that. So, it, again, if you can see these houses, they're lit up, just like in tr old-fashioned trick-or-treating. If the lice, if the house is lit up... You trick-or-treat then! Grr, you made me lose count of all the candy I'm stealing! Yeah, and sometimes these houses have grubbins at them, meaning we got a fight on our hands. Yep, so here we are, seeing the knight outfit the first time around. Looks like we got two enemies to deal with. So, this is... So, the knight's ability. Yep. The knight's ability is all about defense. He has a super move called, I think, knight shield. Sorry, I was... The sound was kind of getting to me there. Yep, the knight, as it's implied, is very good at taking hits. And this Rebin Warlock is going to keep powering up his enemies. Yeah, these guys have abilities too. We could also choose to run away with LT and RT, but we're not going to be doing that. And again, I don't, I don't think it... When it comes to RPGs, unless I'm clearly outmatched, I'm not going to back down from a fight. Yeah, so here's Guardian Shields. I mean, since this fight is just about over, I, I guess I'll set up. But look at that animation. This is so cool of a concept. Right, and we also got Missile Barrage ready. Yeah, so when that shield is on, he's going to take a lot of damage. And, yeah, Missile Barrage has a burn effect on him. Oh, dear. Yeah, and these wizards can cause burn effects on your allies, too. But victory is ours. And we got ourselves a creepy treat called Rasms. Now, creepy treats are just collectibles. If we're gonna battle for that, you should get some battle stamps from Sadie in the park. Man, yeah. This game is extremely fast-paced. It's designed to play, like, within a few hours or so. So, you know what? I don't mind stretching it out into small parts. So, yeah, we're gonna go around. We're gonna see if we can find the kids as well as trick-or-treat at the different houses. Let's see what we got here. Well, guess you're the last of them. Better turn off my light. Yep, not all the houses are have bad guys in them. Some of them have people legit trick-or-treating there. Now, first thing, I don't know how they've gotten into the houses of people, but I'm not sure. Dang, did the reflection of my glasses give me away? Right, so that's the second kid in this town. I see there's a house over here, so I guess we'll just keep trick-or-treating on them as we go. Oh, look at the cute kids and your adorable costumes. <laughs> Yep. So far, so good. Yeah, it plays like a traditional Halloween theme, and that's pretty cool. I like how it puts a twist on how potentially you may see monsters in a house, and then you have to fight them. It's such a cool concept for a game. Not to mention the writing and animation is pretty endearing. Get lost! The candy in this house is mine! Yeah, not for long, buddy. But this is definitely... This was definitely the selling point for me, was just... These really epic designs for the costumes. <laughs> and now they have RPG elements. And BOOM! I guess speaking of RPGs, I guess by the time uh, this series is gonna start, which should be around maybe October 2nd or 3rd. Again, I'm recording all these ahead of time, but... Again, like, this was kind of a last minute change. Where I wanted to stream these, but... I thought, since it would be easier and probably more palatable for some people, if, uh, I just- Oh dear, I messed up the timing on that one. 
but it'd be easier to do these in little increments. That way you guys, I don't know, could maybe like just watch them a little easier. I'll try to make as much progress as I can, and I, I don't know, if there's enough fights in a video, I'll probably just cut the rest of them out. Oh dear. Okay, yeah, so I'm not gonna shield. We just gotta end this fight quickly. And there we go. We got a new creepy treat. Candy hair. Ugh. Right, so we're at... So you can't see it behind my face, but... We have 2,400 XP, so we're 100 more and then we get to level up. So these are our save stations. Hello? Police? Did you know monsters are invading the town, stealing all the candy? Uh, also, they kidnapped my... Very funny, kid. Happy Halloween to you, too. I'm serious. This is the emergency. Uh, okay. I'll add your complaint to the police log. Man, I hate working holidays. Click. <laughs> yeah, so the police are not going to do uh, anything for us. Because, you know what? Whenever do they do anything in these kinds of, like, games and cartoons? They, they never do. I mean, in real life, maybe, but... I don't know. That's always the classic thing, like... If something creepy happens on Halloween, or like something legit scary happens, no one's gonna believe it because they think it's just a Halloween antic, but... I don't know, sometimes you gotta take it seriously. Anyways. It's your in grave danger! Finally, an adult who sees what's going on! Do I ever! Tonight, we are under attack by Sugar! Is that your nickname for one of the monsters? Sugar is the biggest monster of them all! It rots your teeth, gives you pimples, and makes you fat! Wait a second. And that's why I'm out here tonight promoting healthy eating through the classic game of bobbin for apples. Want to play? No. <laughs> Great, let's get started. Grab as many apples as you can before time's up. Green apples are rare and worth more points than red. Oh, and I only buy organic produce, so watch out for worms and other parasites. What? Go! <laughs> yeah, so this is a mini game. We can bob for apples. You want to bob for the green apples first. Because, again, those are worth more points. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you don't want to get the apple cores or the ones with worms in them. Because that'll make you sick. You want to try and remember where they pop up first, and that way you can get them before they disappear. That was amazing! You got more apples than a teacher on the first day of school! So, what do we win? Candy! Awesome! Wait, is this a trick? Aren't you supposed to be promoting good dental hygiene? Of course, so here is a sweet reward to help you remember your lesson. It's called positive reinforcement. Duh. <laughs> I love that. Come again. <laughs> yes, I did give him the old western sound because he was a cowboy. But that was really funny. <laughs> He's giving candy while trying to promote good dental health. Battle stamps. So here we are. Here's the battle stamps uh, area. Hi, could you please stop yelling? Yeah, we need to concentrate. We're fighting monsters. In those boring costumes? Our costumes are amazing. Yeah, FYI, we've been slaying monsters with them all night. I'm just saying they could use a little zing, a little zow, a little customization. Interested? Depends. What are you charging? Just a few pieces of candy. A small price to pay for battle stamps. What exactly do these battle stamps do? Glad you asked. Please get on my menu for the night specials. Yeah, so here we can get battle stamps, and battle stamps have a special effects on costumes. So we got Fang of the Wolf, which will increase attack power, and Black Cat, which has a chance of dodging attacks. I think we have enough for both of these, so I'll just buy both of them. Honestly, these are some pretty good cards to start off with. Right, I'll give Ren, since she has... Or actually, no, I'm going to give uh, Everett the, this, since he has a better chance, since he's not... Since the knight is defensive, we're going to give him that so that he can be more def defensive. Anyways, we're going to use this to increase attack power. All right. So overall, yeah, that's... when Next time we get a battle, we'll see how battle stamps work. So let's go see what this uh, woman is wanting to talk about. It's about time you kids volunteered. The school bake sale is counting on you. First, Miss Putterbam, or Putterpam, sorry. We need to get past so we can use trick-or-treat at the houses at the big gate. Well, nonsense. Trick-or-treating can wait. I need help making pies or else I'll have to cut our P.E. classes. No more P.E.? Right on! <laughs> How dare you speak to your principal so irreverently. I will see you Monday morning in my office. No, please. My mom will kill me if I have to go to your office again. Is there anything we can do to help the bake sale so it doesn't get in trouble, ma'am? 
Yes, she can go fetch me an ingredient to help with the pie bake. Hurry, before I change my mind to give you both detention on Monday. Whatever you weird Pianta looking person. I'm gonna say that that's what I'm gonna call these guys for the end of this. Just So yeah, we know we can't go over there because she's blocking the way, so we have to go find a cherry for her pie. We're not really gonna help our old battle axe, are we? We have to get past her so we can trick or treat at every house, or the black gate won't open. Arr, you found me booty! <laughs> um I mean considering how I walk behind them, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, let's think. What would make a good ingredient for pie that's not pumpkin or apple? Um, I don't know. Alright, let's just take a look on here. Okay, we already got that, sorry. Alright, I might actually switch to the... I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna keep here. Let me check something real quick. Uh, is the music... Uh, nope, the sound effects and music are on. So, yeah, there's just no music right now. It's just ambient sounds. So, what's this guy want? Oh man, you collect creepy cheat cards? I just need one glop to finish my set. Trade you for rare for one. I have my own set to think about, but I'll let you know if I have any dupes. Oh man, sweet! Okay, so this, yeah. So you can actually trade, uh, treat cards with people and they'll give you rare ones that uh, will probably, uh, gosh, I, why am I drawing so many blanks? Yeah, creepy cheat cards don't really do anything, they're just collectibles. So let me just check real quick. So we do need to trick-or-treat at more of the houses, and it's already 11 minutes. Oh dear, I gotta get on with stuff. Oh hey, we see back there there's a cherry behind the door, or behind there, so... Sorry, private party for patriotic heroes. That's us. <laughs> Your costume celebrates science and the monarchy. How is that patriotic? Look, I have a colleague in front of the steps over there who might be able to inspire you. Just tell her I said it's a matter of manifest destiny. Got that? <laughs> yeah, okay, so we can't get in there. I have a manifest destiny. You should see a doctor about that. Here, let me give you this prescription. The Statue of Liberty costume pattern. Nice. So we gotta go get the pieces for this costume if we're gonna have to get in there. But first, a house to trick or treat at. <laughs> you celebrate science and the monarchy. That was, that's really funny. <laughs> Again, I can't get over how hilarious the dialogue is in this. <laughs> like I did, some of the lines here are fantastic. All right, so we got a gunner guy, which is different. I believe they have the ability to cause burn on enemies too. And I also think they have high damage. So we have Fang of the Wolf, which will increase our attack power. So that attack should have been stronger than before. And as for Everett, he has a chance of dodging attacks. Which I think is a good compensation for his less defensive body. Okay. And block. Oh, and he dodged it! Nice! Yeah, there's not really, like, an indicator for uh, dod dodging, but it does apply, which is nice. And block! Right, we're doing good. Yep, so far so good. Just gotta take out this guardsman. I like the battle in here. It's pretty fast-paced. Especially early on. Nice, he dodged it again. Oh, man, I'm pretty... I got pretty lucky with that. And... Fire! And that's how we do it. Got two creepy treats. Sweet noses and shimmer fizz. And we leveled up! Now we have more attacking power and health in battle. Nice to hear. So, how about you, buddy? Busted body, our cop again. That's the hobo blues. <laughs> Alright, so that's four of the kids. Right, so now we gotta find the materials for this Statue of Liberty costume. What about you? What's the password? Uh, manifest destiny? Well, you got some powerful friends. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I wish I could go in there but without the drenching part. Hope you got something equally powerful to protect your head from that water. Yep, so if we use the shield, we can shield ourselves from the water. Oh wait, uh, I think if we go over here, yeah, there is an item. We got a sheet. I think that's the first part of the Statue of Liberty costume. 
So I think this was an American-made game, which is why they have American-themed stuff in here. You can also hit all sorts of stuff and get candy out of it, even the trash bags, which is honestly really gross. You can get candy out of the dumpsters, which I don't think is a good idea under any circumstances. What do you gotta say, Lincoln boy? Manifest Destiny. Shh, do you want the whole neighborhood to hear? <laughs> oh, wait, oh, so, so we gotta switch costumes real quick. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to remember. Alright, so here we are. So what is back here? I think it's another costume piece. Yeah, so if we see a Lincoln guy anywhere, we'll all have a costume piece for us. So, we got the cardboard. Very, very nice. Hey, come on. Oh, what? You need a password. Oh man, this is the circle of trust in here. Oh, we got the feather duster. And just like that, we got the Statue of Liberty costume. Now, this is patriotic. Actually, it's a symbol of freedom from tyranny, which is a different and more inclusive concept than loyalty to country. But it will still get us into that guy's party. Oh, totally. <laughs> I, I mean... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but you, you just have to see what the Statue of Liberty does. It's really cool. Yeah, a, one common theme in both of the games is that they have an American-themed character of some kind, and often they're the most overpowered, I guess, showing the power of America. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to figure out how to get back to that party. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, not this way, sorry. Over time, uh, as we level up, she'll have more battle stamps ready for us, but considering how expensive those were, we don't have enough money for them, or candy for them. All right, let me go down in the manhole. <laughs> and yeah, this should be a shortcut back to the party. Right, right here we go, 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 go. Oh, uh, we gotta wear the Statue of Liberty costume and he should let us in. Lady Liberty! Such a glorious American symbol built by American hands! Uh, actually, yeah, I was gonna say it was made by the- by France. That's okay, my costume wasn't made in China. Don't tell anyone we got it on any- Now get on in here. <laughs> Man, that's legit some funny dialogue. Woo! People are breaking stuff! Finally, this party is off the hook! So go in here, we get a ton of candy. 50 pieces. Nice. So, this tree... Ow, there's a squirrel in that tree throwing cherry pits! Yeah, so that cherry tree is gonna give us the what we need. You know, I'm surprised there's not, like, a George Washington character that's, like, near this tree and saying, I, I want to chop it down, but I don't want... or I can't tell a lie about it. These cherries look perfect for pie. Everett, your night costume's extremely useful. It is my honor to serve the quest. <laughs> yep, I think if... Yeah. Yeah, so that's... So we got the thing we need for the pies now. As I was saying before, I love some of the patriotic themes. They're pretty well done. Again, like, I don't know, I mean, honestly, I don't see too many games that do that. Most make fun of America. This one tries to embrace some of the cool things about America. Or at least some of the symbols of it. Anyways, here you go, you crazy old bat. Also, my face is clipping in your apron. I think, uh, I, I don't think this is good. Cherries, this is your ingredient. Did you happen to notice that it's Halloween tonight? We're sorry, Miss Potterpan, but all we could find on such notice, on short notice, may we come in, please? Yes, fine. Back to your trick or treating. Leave me to save the school by myself again. <laughs> well, you got to admire her dedication to the school board. Yeah, it's such a classic kid-style game. I love this. Hurry up! We gotta get back before the commercial ends! <laughs> oh man, that is so relatable. I've I've actually handed out candy to trick-or-treaters once, and I was watching TV. <laughs> I was like, hurry, it's on commercial break. <laughs> Alright, so let me save real quick. Okay, I'm trying to save. Yeah, so they'll just say the same thing every single time. So let me... Oh, okay, so I think if we go along these ramps, there's something back here too. We also need to be on the lookout for more of the kids. 
because there's definitely a worthy reward uh, for it as we get on. And um, it's actually harder to see through here based on my screen because of the light reflecting on my face due to the light fixture that I have. Okay, so there's a ramp over here. So we can get into these backyards. And here's the chest. Nice, delicious pieces of 20 pieces of candy. That's it for finding this secret? Oh, that seems like chump change to me. Come on. Alright, but again, we gotta look out for the kids too. So, next house it is. Let's see. Go to bad, go to bad, go to bad. I, I'm gonna say good. Oh, lost it. You look just like my parents from when I went a strange or stray. <laughs> Alright, time for a fight. So, yeah, I think I'll keep this fight in because I want to show off how Lady Liberty fights. So, Lady Liberty, embracing the American theme, she is the healing class of the team. Her super move is called Anthem, where it will heal a... Yeah, she actually has a different action command, too. It's just like the hammer command from Paper Mario. And three times in a row, I have gotten that dodge ability. That's incredible. Yeah, we also have a shaman guy who is going to heal his allies. So we actually should try and take him down first. Yeah, so we move our stick to enough times and then we can whack him in the face with our torch. Four times in a row. Good lord. That sticker's overpowered. And yeah, the shaman's able to cast shields on himself. So let's just hit him as hard as we can. Oh. Oh. I actually didn't know that it hit both of them, the barrage attack. It doesn't matter, he's... Five times in a row! What the heck? Oh, ah, uh, did it way too early. Doesn't matter, we won. We got Moops and Fruity Foam. These treat card names are pretty funny. Oh my gosh, already I'm starting to lose my voice from talking so much, but I am having a nice time here. You know what? We're at the 22 minute mark. I th let's do one more. Let's do one more fight. And then I say that'll be it. Don't be greedy. One piece of candy each. Mm. I have a question for you guys. And again, you can be as honest as you want about it. <laughs> uh, do you, when you see a bowl of candy out on Halloween, it says take one. But you know, like, the lights are off. Do you take? Do you end up taking the whole bowl, or do you wait until, like, there's only a few pieces left and then you take it? Or do you actually be respectful and get both of them? Fire breath! Fire breath! Hey, why aren't you dying from my fire breath? <laughs> You're not a real dragon, buddy. Okay, so that's the fifth kid. We just need one more, and then we found them all. So, okay, so th since that house was a good one, let's try this one instead. Trick or treat! I was not trying on these human clothes. How dare you? <laughs> he was looking through the guy's clothes. <laughs> oh, how do they get into the house anyway? And how do they not have, like, police? There's a weird green gr goblin guy in my house. My gosh, it's funny, though. Alright, let's take this guy out. The eagle sound. I love it. Okay, so that guy's gonna heal himself. Yep. I figured. And... Fire! Yeah, so these guys are level 3, so they're stronger than we are. But we seem to be taking them down with ease. He dodged it again! That's six times in a row! Yeah, the first sticker in the game already is so over... I might have to take it off because of how broken it's been so far. And... Oh, messed it up. Didn't matter, he died anyway. Ah, hey! We got ourselves the Glop Treat card. We can go back to that kid and get uh, what he needs from. Alright, well with that being said, I think this is a good stopping point. So next time on Costume Quest, we'll be trick or treating at the rest of the houses and then moving on to the next area is after we find all the kids and trade that treat card. With that being said, I'll see you guys then. Bye!